this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Richard Laporte and Pavel Elanov. This game was played in Biel in 2015. Biel is a city in Switzerland. Richard Laporte had white pieces and he started with d4. Pavel Eliano played knight to f6, c4, d6, knight to f3, d5, knight to c3, c6, going for semi-slav defense, e3, knight from b to d7, queen to c2, bishop to d6, and now g4, black to move. To take or to play h6, what would you do? There was a game between Cory Tello and Kramnik. Kramnik had black pieces in this position. He played h6 and he won the game. Elanov decided to accept the challenge. He captured the pawn on g4. Rook to g1, knight takes on h2, knight takes knight, bishop takes knight, rook takes on g7, threatening rook takes pawn on h7, knight to f8, defending the pawn, rook to g2 attacking the bishop, bishop to d6, e4, knight to g6, bishop to g5, well e5 is nothing special really for white. We have bishop to g5, bishop to e7, bishop to e3, d takes on e4, rapport castled queenside, f5 defending the pawn. Who is better? Elanov playing with black pieces is two pawns up, but behind in development. Can white take advantage of that? Rapport played d5, queen to a5, king to b1, bishop to d7, d6, bishop to f6, position is closed, only two pawns are missing, and they are both white. Bishop to d2, threatening some kind of discovered attack on the queen. Queen to e5, white to move, very interesting move, by rapport, knight to b5, threatening a knight to c7 check, winning the rook. How would you continue? Elano played the king to f7, why not pawn takes knight? Then bishop to c3 x-raying the bishop on f6, after queen to c5, bishop takes on f6, this is something that Elanov wanted to avoid. So he played king to f7, bishop to c3, queen to f4, knight to c7 attacking the rook. What is the best square for the rook? Hmm? The best square is? Fighting for the open file. c5. Bishop takes on c3. Queen takes bishop. How would you improve the position if you had black pieces? Elano played knight to e5. After 24 moves have been played, black is standing better. After rook takes rook, rook takes rook, and Black is in the control of the only open file. Bishop to e2. Queen takes pawn on f2, winning one more pawn. Black is three pawns up. Queen takes knight, queen takes bishop. Rook to h1, threatening rook takes on h7, check. How would you defend the pawn? What would you do? Elenova, player with the black pieces, found a brilliant way to defend the pawn.
black. Play the move. And white resigned. The move is queen to d3. White resigned in view of this continuation. King to a1. And now this is how you defend the pawn. White is advised not to capture the queen because of checkmate at the back rank. And what if a king goes to c1? Then the game will continue like this. Queen to e3 check. King to c2. Rook to g2 check. King to b1. Rook to g1. Rooks are exchanged. King to c2. Only black has fun in this variation. King to b3. Queen to f3. And now where is white king going? If king goes to c2, then check. And after king to c1, e3 is winning. And what else? If king goes to b4, then e3 is again winning for black. So report. Why is it decided to resign at move 28 in this position? And let's go back to this very interesting position in the opening. This is the position. Black to move. Kramnik played h6 and 1. Elano captured the pawn and 1. Interesting, isn't it? Both moves are good for black then. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess. And bye for now.